Alexander Summers was the son of Major Christopher Summers, a test pilot for the U.S. Air Force, and his wife Catherine Ann Summers. He had two brothers, older brother Scott Summers and younger brother Gabriel Summers. All three were mutants. When Scott and Alex were boys flying home from a family vacation in their father's vintage private plane, a scout ship from the alien Shear Empire suddenly materialized and set the plane ablaze. Catherine pushed Scott and Alex out the plane door with the only available parachute. The parachute caught fire, so Scott used his mutant optic blasts for the first time to slow their descent. Scott and Alex were unaware that their parents had been teleported from the plane by the shear a moment before it exploded. Scott suffered a head injury on landing that damaged the part of his brain that would have enabled him to control his optic blasts. The two boys were hospitalized and both suffered traumatic amnesia regarding the incident. They left the hospital after two weeks and were placed in the state home for foundlings, an orphanage in Omaha, Nebraska and were subjected to a battery of tests and experiments by the orphanage's owner, Mr. Milbury, an alias for the evil geneticist and their future enemy Mr. Sinister. Sinister believed that Scott was the Summers brother with the most potential so he had Alex adopted to separate them and render Scott emotionally vulnerable. Alex had little or no contact with Scott until years later. Alex was raised by Andrew and Joanna Blanding, whose son Todd had been killed in a car accident. Alex was pressured to act as a replacement Todd, which he tried to do as best as he could. When Todd's killer Vincent kidnapped Alex and his foster sister, Haley Blanding, Alex manifested his mutant powers for the first time, incinerating Vincent. Mr. Sinister appeared, quite surprised to find that Alex's potential possibly exceeded Scott's. Unfortunately, Alex lacked any control over his powers. Sinister placed psi blocks on both Alex and Haley, causing them to forget everything that happened that night. The immortal mutant apocalypse encountered the non-mutant variant Amit Abdal and deemed him to be a broken, beaten man of great potential but without direction. Apocalypse acquired a sample of Alex Summers' DNA, ensuring that its coding had been modified for his purposes, and had Sinister graft it to Abdal. The experiment was only partially successful and resulted in an unexpected and quite unusual symbiotic relationship wherein Abdal's power was split between them and not shared. Deciding to use his powers for his own personal gain, Abdal created a cult around himself as a messiah, the cult of the living pharaoh, became a supervillain, and set about his plan to rule the world. 